Last time on Pokemon Leaf Green, we went to the Pokemart in Viridian City and spent 2,000 Poke on items. Then we got the Techie TV from the old man. Then we got through the Viridian Forest. And then we arrived in Pewter City and healed our Pokemon. Hey everybody, this is a Savage Dingo. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green in the last episode you saw in the recap. And in this episode, I think I'm gonna go down here really quick and see if I can catch a Pidgey. Just because we need somebody who can fly. But I'm still gonna try and use just Squirtle to get through the gym. And right away we find a Pidgey. Kill it, but let's try pump first. Oh my gosh, good thing I didn't use water gun. Alright, get back. Ta -ta -ta -ta. All the way to the Pokeballs, which is in the right one. Now, I don't know if pressing A whenever the Pokeball shakes like that helps, but every time I've done it, I've gotten a Pokemon even on the legendary, so I'm gonna do it every time. I'll just let you guys read that. You can pause the video or whatever, because I'm not gonna read all that. Yes, I'm gonna name it. The generic way. Oh, oh no, this one's a guy too. Oh my gosh. Why are all of these guys? What to name it? Like the name doesn't fit, but oh well. Only people that I know will know who this is. And no, it's not the joke John Smith or John Doe or nothing like that. Could be if you want it to be, but it's not. Alright, let's see. There's the Pokemon Gym. What's the sign say? Museum of Science. Uh -huh. It's up here. Nothing. So, I decided to try the Salt Challenge. I didn't actually do the full thing or, or anything, but I just put a little... Uh, my friend put a little salt on my hand, and I got this weird little all these weird little red dots on my hands and there's one guy there stop right there kid you're 10,000 light years from facing Brock this is Pokemon Camper Liam he's gonna send out a Geodude now if you start off with a water or grass Pokemon all you really gotta do is water gun or bubble super effective. And use whatever grass move that Bulbasaur learns and you'll just one hit KO them all pretty much. And I forgot to heal John. Oh well, I'm just gonna train him a little bit just so he's not a fluffy turd. Wow, I left him with one HP then. That's either really skillful or really, really lucky. But anyway, now I have these weird itchy red dots on my hand. I'm not sure if that's from a third degree burn or a two degree burn or something. I may post a picture. I'll, I'll decide later. But it's really, really itchy. I mean, all day I've been attempting not to itch my hand and I just itched it. Urgh. Once I start itching, I don't want to stop, so I have to just... Oh! And that was super effective, so... Sanctuary fainted. We gained more experience. John should level up at least once or twice. Yay, he leveled up twice. Woo! He's no... Oh. I thought he leveled up again. I would have been like, oh my gosh, man. Pidgeys are easy to level up. Light years isn't time. It's measures distance. So, one, two, we're two steps away from him, and apparently that's light years. Anyways, like, yeah, I think we'll just face him right here. 
So you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Peter. Yeah, Peter's gym leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all rock type. Ha ha, you're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. Leader Brock would like to battle. Leader Brock sent out Jude. Why am I reading all the text? Like I said, just use something like Water Gun or Bubble. I'm just going to use Water Gun, there's no real strategy to it. Jude used out in one hit. We're already a couple levels ahead of him. Yes, we'll switch out just so John can level. And he gained health from that level. And woo! Woot. If only we had a hoot hoot. That would make the joke even better. Onyx, one of my favorite Pokemon, but I'm not going to have him on my team just because I can't have Steelix. Because I need to trade. And you can't do that in Onyx. That tackle did almost nothing, really? Oh, oh, that was a critical hit. Let me take him out. Good thing he doesn't know explosion. Wow. Okay, I did not expect him to take him out one hit. I thought we were going to be here a little longer, but... David grew to level 15. He might... He might... No, he's not going to evolve. We need one more level. John grew to level 7! We are so far behind! He grew to level 8! Oh my gosh! Shortest gym battle for me ever. I took you for granted, and so I lost. As proof of your victory, I confer you on this. The official Pokemon League Bowler Badge. You got the Boulder Badge! Just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables you to use... Moves Flash outside of battle. Of course, a Pokemon must know the Move Flash to use it. Well, no duh. Okay, who's carrying around that much money? Wait, take this with you. A TM technical machine contains a technique for Pokemon. Use a TM teaches a move that contains to a Pokemon. A TM is good for only one use. So when you use one, pick the Pokemon carefully. Anyway. TM39 contains Rock Tomb. It hurls boulders at the foe and lowers its speed. Even though he never uses them. So what's this guy say? Just as I thought. You're a Pokemon champ, Material. Well, he would have said something else if we had talked to him before we beat Brock, but... Eh. I didn't feel like talking to him. Let's talk to her. The fairy came from the moon. That's what the rumor is. They appeared from moonstones, fell on empty moon. Oh, very genius naming on the mountains here. Very genius. Ah, my hand is so itchy. Oi. So you say, did you check the museum out? Yes. Weren't this fossil at NT Moon amazing? Hehehe, <laughs> we lied. What's this? Notice! Thieves have been stealing Pokemon fossils from NT Moon. Please call the pewter police if you have any information. Oh, Mike! I'm glad I caught up to you. I'm Professor Oak's aide. <laughs> He's aides. I've been asked to deliver this, so here you go. Finally! Running shoes. Press the B button to run, but only when there's room to run. Well, I must be going back to the lab. Bye-bye. Creepy. Very creepy. So letter attached. Dear Michael, here's a pair of running shoes from my beloved challenger. Remember, I always cheer for you. Don't ever give up. From Mom. So now we can run! Woo! -hoo. And I just ran into a wall. Concussion effect. Alright, we're gonna have a series of trainer battles here. Let's see if I can see them real quick. I think there's something. Nope, there's nothing over here. Just a shortcut back. Okay, so... Excuse me, you looked at me, didn't you? No, I'm obviously looking away from you because I don't want to fight you. Know. Last Janice would like to battle. So these trainers aren't really that hard. They're a lot weaker than the Pokemon gym. And yeah, I forgot to go back and heal. Oh the hell. 
But like I said, they're they're pretty weak compared to the gym battle. Well, at least I know now that Pidgey's gonna learn Gust around level nine. I wish I had a Pidgey that learned Gust before we went through Viridian Forest. That would have just made everything a lot faster. Another Pidgey. Yes, we're gonna switch out so John can level. I think this is the only battle I'm not gonna skip, just for the sake of time and not necessarily to money, because I'm not getting paid to do any of this. I'm with my free But anyways, yeah, just to show you how weak these trainers are, you can beat them in several hits. Oh, I thought that was super effective. I don't know why. I just heard the super effective sound. It was just oh no. Oh my gosh. Okay, we gotta use water gun on this one. Yay, David is safe. Bless Jonas. You're mean. Hey, you're the one who challenged me. Yeah, freaking nature. So we're just gonna rush back real quick. Don't run into the tree. Trees cause concussions. Those guys are still creepy around the corner, and that guy's... That other guy has a freaking jiggly buff. Yes, yes, yes. I want to see what he says, just because of the two. <sighs> One jiggly buff seeing his Pokemon get drowsy. Me too. Why didn't I get tired? Just as I said that, I was about to yawn. Ooh. Jigglypuff affects real life. Ha ha ha, I run at lightning fast speed. Ah. Wish Pidgey knew Gust. I'm gonna swap their positions real quick. Just because I want Pidgey to level. Hey, I saw you in Viridian Forest. Don't tell me. It was one of those bug catchers. Oh, he's Colton. Sets up. Level 10. Caterpie. Level 10. Caterpie. Yeah. This guy's stupid. See you after the battle. Alright, we beat Colton, and Pidgey leveled up twice and gained Gust, so now we can defeat Bug Pokemon and Fighting Types a whole lot easier now. Um, let's see. Don't know why I wanted to look at his stats, but at this screen you can view everything, their moves, details on them. Yeah, and this one it doesn't explain whether they're special or not. But let's see. Yeah, the nature the nature makes it so that they level up differently. I'm just gonna say that just to make it simple. And I'm gonna favor him just to see if I can get him to level by the end of this episode. So Hi, I like shorts. They're delightfully comfy and easy to wear. Youngster Ben. Don't like Ratatata. Okay, we beat Youngster Ben, and David leveled up to 16, so I think he may evolve here. Yay, he evolved! The epic sequence. Congratulations, your David evolved into War Turtle. His tail is so fluffy. Hmm. 
Should I go and get him first? Yeah, I'm gonna fight him first. Hey, you're not wearing shorts. What's wrong with you? Apparently youngsters have an obsession with shorts. Youngster Calvin would like to battle. All he has is a spear. I'm not gonna skip this fight just to show the new David in action. And I, I never got the point of the look of Spiro. Back then they had little clever names like Warrior Turtle is War Turtle, Squirt and Turtle is Squirtle, Blast and Tortoise is Blastoise. I don't know how Tortoise turned into Blastoise. That was a quick fight. My ears were sweet. Also, something no weird that I know just about myself, off subject that whenever I sneeze, my eyes twitch. Just thought I'd let you guys know. We're gonna heal here real quick. Yes. I think that'll do it for this episode, so next time on Pokemon Leaf Green. We are going to continue our little journey through the little pathway of trainers that you saw. So I'll see you guys next time.